And now we're in the jungle. What's up guys and welcome back to Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Oh, hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. You're not as young as you used to be in your youth, huh? Uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? Ha! <laughs> well, that was different. Although, I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> well, hang in there, old-timer. We're just about there. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> uh, risky move, but... By the time he figured it out, I was... Nate, are you even listening to me? Nope. Hanging on every word. Eh, uh, why waste my breath? <laughs> well, while you were wasting your breath, it gave us perfect opportunity to find our first treasure in the game, the Silver Mosaic Inca Earring. I don't know if I should bother showing these off or not. I don't know how interested people are, but there you go, there's our very first treasure. I believe there are 61 in the game, and we'll be trying our best to find every single one of them. That'll be sort of our main focus on the series, is to 100% the game, and of course, go ahead and get all those treasures, but we're in a jungle now, and you will have to get pretty used to jungles, because you'll find them left and right in the Uncharted series. It's probably the most common location. You really think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. I'd say so. Okay, where are we now? Ooh, going through the plants and everything. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. What a goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. Hmm. Well then, maybe our adventure here isn't going to a dead end yet. Um, what is this? Oh, that's just a mark on the rock. I thought it was blood or like some type of like, I don't know, like smearing. I guess it's just rock. Oh, man, this is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. Oh my. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Ah, okay, not quite the dead end we thought it was. This is more like it. Indeed. Oh wow, this is looking really cool. So can we climb up these things? I'm guessing we can. Oh, this one sort of has some markings. Chicken? Nah, it's older than that. Like 2,000 years older. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. So is this, what is over here? Um, is this the way we came from? I'm already lost. <laughs> Let's climb up here, see what's going on. And wow, it looks, I have to say, this game looks really darn good in the Nathan Drake collection. I think it just, the graphically, it definitely was upgraded compared to the 2007 original. Imagine, you know how long ago that was? That was eight years ago. Whoa, whoa, be careful. Jump, yeah, <laughs> we made it. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. Yeah, it has a whole bunch of rocks going out of it. So it looks like actually a staircase or something. Well, if we jump over here, not only can we get a better look, but we can find our second treasure of the game, the jeweled silver monkey. <laughs> this one just looks silly. It's hollow. We gotta find a way to smash through this. Hmm, all right then, so we, maybe we could just fall down. <laughs> that didn't quite work. Hmm, what can we do then? Maybe we can knock something over and, oh, you know what? Look at that. <laughs> There's a rock we can just push over. So let us uh, go back up there and see if we can't do anything with that. Hmm, so maybe this is the way we should go here. Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, be careful. Ooh, okay, now we got a little shortcut, that'll be good. Oh, I see, now we gotta hop on this ledge. Ah, parkour. <laughs> Once again, this level actually serves as a really good tutorial on everything else besides shooting in this game. Those are the two, oh, darn. I'm pressing buttons accidentally all day today. There's two main things you're gonna be doing in Uncharted, and that is shooting people and then platforming, usually to run away from people you don't wanna shoot anymore. Now we're making a little more progress. Let's just jump across this ledge. Who on? Awesome stuff. All right, let's climb up here and, and ooh, here we go, here's the big old rock. Let's push this right on over and we'll just break through the floor. Oh wow, nice and easy and my batter is getting low. Perfect timing. All right. <laughs> Let's hop down then, see what's inside. Whoa, perfectly done too. Immediately there's a door to access. Hmm, all right then, I don't have any on me, do you? 
Uh, doesn't look like you do. Oh, there you go. Whoa, bats! All right. <laughs> so it's always interesting to play through Uncharted 1 for me because I started with Uncharted 2 and then I played Uncharted 3 and then I played Uncharted Golden Abyss, then I played Uncharted 1. Like, Uncharted 1 was the last one I played through. So it's always interesting playing through it and getting this weird perspective for me. But look at this place. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. Uh-oh, that's not good. I was really counting on this one. Well, the adventure's not over yet. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. <laughs> All right. Well... Those Spaniards sure left a lot of crap behind. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, look, a pot. Maybe this will have some treasure in you? In it for Sully? Uh, not looking like it. Sorry, Sully. We don't find any treasure. I don't know. I'll give you, like, five bucks. Mm-hmm. So how can we get across? It looks like we gotta do this explosively. Boom! Aha, <laughs> it worked! There you go. So before we do actually go across there, there should be a treasure right over here. So let's go ahead and snag it. There you go, the decorated gold ring. <laughs> Very cool. So we can sneak our way across now and see what's on this other side. That is quite the drop, isn't it? Oh my. Oh no, it's getting me scared looking down. Let's just go. Oh boy, it's very cool seeing things with like imprints on it though. Like the detail and everything is very, very cool. Let's go this way though. Ooh, a big old ominous door. Let's open it up, see what's inside. Oh, oh, ow. Jeez, I would not want that thing landing on my toe. All right, let me do a bit better of a job at tapping here. Come on, come on, you can do it. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Be a muscle man. What? Here, let me do that. Oh, okay, okay. So he's such a big dude apparently. All right, let's go, ready? Go under, go under, come on. Yeah, I made it. Now what is going on on this open, side? Open. Oh. See if you can jam it from the other side. I got you, I got you. Is this made out of metal or is it wood? I think it's metal. Well, no, it looks like wood. Right, this let go. Is, it's gonna smash hold it. into a million pieces. Oh, wow. Hi, Sully. That is some very strong wood. Whoa, be careful, buddy. That was a little too close. You're telling let's me. Hope this place has a back door, huh? Mm. I hope so. We're stuck in here. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. Hmm. All right then. So why don't we open up the journal and see what's inside? Yeah. Here it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So after all your bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? <laughs> Maybe it does. All right then. So you're gonna light that. Ooh. Good job, Sully. Always lending a hand. And there you go, it's on fire, whoa. Whoa, that is cool. Oh man, look at all that. <laughs> Very awesome. So if you look there, you can actually see some writing. Oh, well, let me pull up the book again. You can actually see some writing on the uh, other page if you can actually read the handwriting. Hmm. All right, so this debris? Okay, so we need to find a way to burn this. Can we like get a torch or something? Can I just shoot it away? Huh, not quite. This wood's pretty dry. I bet we could burn it. Well, how about we try that? Oh, that sort of worked, but not really. Uh, maybe another one? Oh, how about this one? It's closer. Oh, there you go, hooray! Uh-oh, we might be uh, trapped in a fire now. Uh, or not quite. I guess the fire just stopped, even though there's plenty wood to keep it burning. That makes sense. I don't know. Well, what is going on down here? Um, 
Oh, this is an intimidating room, but hey, I can climb up this. Thank you, camera, for tipping me off. Whoa! Oh, darn it. Our first death. Uh, Nate. I might have been able to do that 30 years ago. <laughs> That's okay, Sully. I'll find another way around for you. Oh boy, come on, keep going, keep going. Keep pushing. We gotta do it for Sully and his depleting wallet. Uh, oh, and now we gotta go down this oddly straight vine. Whoa, okay. Thought I was gonna die again. Will this pod have anything in it? It's just fun to destroy those things. They don't really have those kind of things, like destructible environment stuff in some of the other games, so it's fun to see. Uh, hmm, and another one. But this one, of course, we do not have a cigar to light it or a lighter or anything like that. Luckily, this door's not blocked by debris. Behind all this rubble. Hmm, all right. Maybe we can push this then? I'm not sure. Let's we'll try to help out Sully here as much as we can. Uh, ah, ha ha, on the other side is a big old pile of TNT, ow! And boom goes the dynamite, much better this time. No rocks falling on my head either. And now, he can head on down. You're welcome, Sully. <laughs> So what are we doing over here? Looks like Zelly will need to give us a hand lighting this bad boy up. And then we can maybe, probably make our way to the other side. Hmm, it's cool just taking a moment though to look at all this. Look at the funny faces on the wall too. Ooga booga. Let's get going. <laughs> all right, I mean, I've been here before you. And they can light that one up, good job. Hooray! Zelly has to be probably my Second favorite character? I don't know, Drake is awesome, so he definitely is my favorite character in this series. Sully is definitely my second favorite, just because he's just a really cool guy. I mean, he is definitely a bit of a jerk at times to certain people, yeah, I'm sure, but he's still overall a cool guy. Oh geez, it's spooky seeing all these skeletons. He's chilling here. Spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Hmm, what's gonna be at the end of this gigantic hallway? More stuff. Let's go. Uh, now what? I'm not sure. What do you make of this? Wait, I recognize these symbols. Which symbols? Uh, hmm. The order of these signs has some importance. All right, one, two, three, four. We'll have to keep that in mind. I'm guessing this is the order that we have to place whatever we're talking about here. Oh, there's buttons. Okay, there are two buttons up there. And then there's two buttons up here. So the first one we need is like the pixelated circle. The second one is some dude doing the hoopa jooba dance. Number three is a spider. And the, the fourth one is an angry face. Okay, I got it. Memorized in everything. Um, so the hoopa jooba. No, that's the angry face, okay. Well, either way, I need this pixelated circle first. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what the pictures actually are. But hey, if it helps me remember, that's the most important thing. I just want you to go over here. Get off this ledge and press the big button. Now, I think we can, uh, hooray, oh, looks like we're not quite done. Um, what is that? That's our second thing, so what's, uh, just hop on down, I think it'll be quicker to do it this way. And then after this, we need to turn back around again? No, 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 I got it, I got it. <laughs> Take it bit by bit, we're making our way through. Now we gotta hop over to this other side. There's two out of four, though. Hop over here, climb across just like this, and this is the ready for war spider. He has like five extra legs in the average spider and I hate it. So press that button. And then finally, we just gotta do the angry face. I just find it silly that <laughs> this is the way I'm solving the puzzle. All right, let's go back over here though and uh, climb up this thing. While we're doing this, I did want to say thank you guys so much for your support on the first episode of Uncharted. I really do appreciate it. This is a new channel, so it's definitely, you know, good to see you guys coming here and giving me support. I really do appreciate it, so thank you. And I hope to see a lot of support throughout the series because I love Uncharted and I really can't wait to play through the whole games for you. And whoa. Looks like we got ourselves a swimming pool. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that's some summer fun. Are you ready, Sully? Are you ready? You bring your swim trunks? Yeah, looks like there's a ladder cut into the side. Wait here while I check it out. Oh, no. Dang it. <laughs> All right, this is what I meant to do. Is that so darn difficult? I don't think so. Whoa. Okay, what are we doing here? I think we gotta go this way. All right, all right, go, 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 go. Okay, <laughs> whoa. Um, climb up here. And what do we got going on in here? 
Uh, this looks like a gigantic pulverizer. Let's uh, push this this way. It's a big old like, <laughs> this guy looks like he's having a bad day. I stubbed my toe. Whoa. Okay, getting somewhere. Water's filling up and we have nowhere else to go but down, right? So let's do it. Swim. I've been in worse. The water's fine, hop on in. And what do we got going on in here? I don't know, it's just a spooky cave. Hmm. Climb up here, maybe? I'm really wet. Usually that happens when you hop in water. What do you know? All right, let's make our way up here. And hopefully, oh, Jack, dang it. Well, luckily, this gives me the opportunity to remember there's a treasure right here, and it is the Silver Llama. Oh my, Carl, Carl. Okay, let's um hop up here and actually go the way we're supposed to be going. Nice stuff. Good job, Drake, you can do it. Yeah, <laughs> climbing up rocks like the way you were meant to be. So it's like, it always makes me curious how realistic his rock climbing is. Of course, obviously, why would a rock be formed this way, you know? So obviously that's not realistic, but if anybody watches who's a rock climber, is rock climbing really like this? No, come on! I made it, I'm on the other side. I swear I'm not normally this bad at Uncharted. Okay, let's uh, blow that door open. <laughs> I, I really am not this bad as Uncharted normally. I just don't know why I'm dying so much. Maybe just because of the recording curse, ooh. Or maybe not, who knows, uh-oh. We got a double one, we'll both have to be strong men. All right, let's do it, do it. Pull this open, oh my. Looks like construction's still being done on this side. Oh man, they've been on a lunch break that never ended. This looks safe. The creaky scaffolding. Oh no, whoa. Oh no. Whoa, run, 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 it's falling apart, what do you know, oh! Oh gosh, no, it's all falling. It's all falling perfectly into place too, look at the background. Whoa, what? I totally pressed the jump button game. What is wrong with you? There you go. I pressed the jump button and I actually jumped. What do you know, how's Sully doing? <laughs> I made it! I'm okay. Looks like Sully's making his way through too. <laughs> Good job, Sully. Uh, let's go up then. Now it looks like we're getting somewhere. After that, we better be. Just maybe. Finally making our way all in one piece. Luckily, nobody's lost any limbs or complete bodies, so that's good. And here we are, the very top. Oh, man. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. Gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here, these people, they're worshiping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado, the golden man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold, it was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here, tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless. Unless what? We follow the tracks. Ooh. Very old tracks, but still tracks. And before we do, we have to follow our way to a new treasure. Why don't we just tre share this treasure with Sully? You would think this stuff right here next to this uh, skeleton, this oddly small skeleton. There you go, the golden Inca cup. You'd think that would help him pay his bills, but you know what? I think that Drake is a little bit selfish. I mean, usually that's sort of the part of the personality of a treasure hunter. You have to be at least a bit selfish. I mean, you're going through ancient ruins of respected people and probably stealing a few things. So selfishness is part of, sort of part of the do job description. And what do we got? Huh. Whoa. They stop here. Yeah, it looks like the back wall of the temple was blown out. Yeah. Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Swell. Now what? Well, now it looks like we have to make our way through the jungle and see if we can't find any more tracks or something. Now, you might be able to see it right now. We're about to find our last treasure of the chapter, which is right up here. Oh, there you go. 
And then one last jump. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Okay, that one without fouling. And it is the silver turtle. It barely looks like a turtle. I don't know. I would have argued that one. <laughs> okay, then. But there's all the treasures for chapter two. Pretty darn awesome. Glad we were able to get that done without too much of an issue. So, whoa. Oh, it's, the sun is setting. Oh, this is a beautiful view. I love it. Wait, what happened to Sully? Oh, he's behind Wait, me. Sully, do you hear that? 